last January camp. Uh, we started out with John, and John, look how you're buried on that back leg. You have a decent stride and angle, but uh, your swing is up too much, and look at how you're just buried on the back leg. There's no hips driving that X snap into the ball or your back foot. It tends to make you want to swing down. You have the most level of all the guys' swings, but that was the problem. Here, a nice stride, rich, but you tend to ride over the top of everything. Like a tennis top spin all the time. You're not getting a firm axe snap. You're a little bit early. And look at how you ride over the top of everything. You aren't finishing through and swinging on the same plane. Everything comes up afterwards. See that? Hand path goes up to the ball rather than swinging level, letting the ball drop into the zone. Pat, you're a real strong guy. Now position down. That caused you to do the same thing. Watch you pull the hands back. Knobs down. It's going to curl back up. You two are early and you're swinging typically over the top of the ball like that. You get a lot better drive. Again, trying to change that hand position will make a big difference. Just aren't getting a good axe snap into the ball. Aren't using your hips and your upper body to throw that axe snap and you're just kind of golfing and dragging it. Marty, for a big guy, just really a poor, horrendous looking swing at the start here. Not trying to make fun of anything, but uh, that's why you're in camp. You wanted to improve and you improved a ton. Look at here, you don't really have a perception of burying an axe head into a tree. You're just kind of letting go with one hand and uh, for a big guy with a lot of skills, and he made huge improvement later, the opening swings are just rough looking and gave us a good base to work off of. Uh, lower body isn't so bad, it's just the delivery of that X snap into the ball and driving the hands. Dave, same thing with you, a big powerful guy, but rode over the top of almost every ball. And you, the other thing was you never swung very hard. I mean, your average beforehand was 69, and you're, you know, a good-sized guy at six foot, 230 pounds, well-built guy. You just didn't cut it loose on the boom. Every ball sliding over the top. So we decided to go to circuit training the second day, and that's what I wanted to show you guys how circuit training of these drills when you go back home is a fast track to improvement. How to go through. Here's working on the lead on the top arm, both hands together, delivering the hands with an axe snap, using the choked-up bat. Then actually going back and using an axe handle. Uh, the oval, the axe handle keeps us from rolling over. Here's a snap stick we use going to the point of contact on the next drill. And then we progress on to throwing it so hard that it flies out of your hands. Swing simulator. Great job. You can use a full lower body stride. You need a little longer stride there, Pat, but otherwise good stride and a nice hand position. There you're lunging a little bit, but... Uh, far better. Marty, a little bit loopy there, so we have to work down on the plane to drive it. A little bit lunchy there, but to find a happy medium, the ball on a down angle with the evil ball on a rope is just a great way to work on it. Uh, again, great hand path, but you're buried on the back leg, John. That's one of the things we had to really work on. Dave, nice stride. Good position. Nice drive. There's we have the ball uh, a little bit up. Next progression is using the hips to throw the lead arm. And a frisbee throw is awesome for it. Again, it's a full stride. Just stretch that out, Pat, which you do nicely. And we want to throw at a nice level angle. Then we throw the bat head. We're actually throwing an axe head in. You release a little bit early with your top hand, Marty. But right there, John, nice job. You want to throw the, use the hips and the stride to throw the axe head or bat head into the ball. Uh, lower pitch, you want to take the hand path down to it. Really a nice job. There's a little bit of higher pitch. Great job, Pat. The pipe drill is awesome because you've got to throw it, stretch it out, throw it, Rich. Nice job. You actually release with the top hand because you're throwing that so hard that you're actually hanging on and wants to come out of your top hand. There's a low pitch. Great job. It comes out of your top hand because you're throwing and extending it. You're a little bit far away from that lower pitch then, Marty, and see how you ride over the top. Our next progression, these are heavy weighted balls. And there, there you go. You change the angle to go down to it. And again, that's a three, I think a two ounce or, or 12 ounce rather ball if you hit it square it doesn't go very far but it teaches you to drive it again nice job here john on driving that ball and those are the weighted balls so next we go to the jimmer stick a four pound jimmer stick next on our drill of circuit training just a great job rich you have to throw that your hips have to throw that your hand path has to go down to it just a great job dave on throwing through and again that thing weighs so much it makes you have a one arm finish if you're throwing it great job pat you throw it right out of your, your top hand at full extension. Then we go to a tee with just a regular bat, and you feel like Superman because that bat feels so light. But just a great job. Again, hand path goes down to the ball, bury the accent to it. Awesome job, Dave, on that. Marty, great job here. Again, your top hand tends to be a little, little weak. The next drill we go to is a real low one. This is a pitch we typically wouldn't swing at, but it forces you to take your hand path to it, forces you to have the right distance so you aren't too far back, and just a great job of driving that ball. Create a low 
top spin line or under spin line drive. Uh, if you go down to it, that's a great job, Rich. Next, we go to a higher ball. We want to try to hit a long line drive or ball over somebody's head if they're creeping in. And again, Pat, you're quite a ways away, but look how long you stretch that stride out. And then look at here how you get a nice axe snap into it. Stretch the stride out, hands come ahead, nice axe snap into it, driven off the hips. Awesome. 65, good ball. Ba boom. 74, look at that. Enjoy a ball like that. 74. 74, nice. Good idea. 79, look at that. 80. 79, nice. 82, great. Look at that. Look at that. Watch, enjoy it. If you'd hit that score, it'd been out by 50 feet. Nice ball. Well, darn it! <laughs> That's the right idea. Two inches below it, out of top hand throwing it. Hey, hey! 87 miles an hour. Tell the back camera here what you did on that, Marty. Uh, more, more of that, that axe into it with this hand. Top hand hammer. Be concentrating on exploding right there. Right there. Are you aiming below the ball at all? Yeah. How far it's below? It's hard to tell. I just try to tell myself. Two inches a though, maybe yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. Rather than swinging up to the plane of the ball, you're getting a more radical swing. 87, man. I awesome. still, I still don't feel like everything's together right there, but sometimes it's getting better. Nice ball, 69. Got a top hand. A lot of top hand. Down through. Had no stride, I think. Well, oh, you're fine. That looked good. 78. Good ball. Look at that. That's a good spun ball. 68. Just didn't get through it, did you? No. Look at that. Nice. 83. Dave, tell the back camera. Show us what you did again and tell me tell, tell why it made the difference. Yep. More top hand. Driving it. Look at that, 79, nice. <laughs> Go hard. Nice right, swing. No. <laughs> Take your right hand and go like that. That's a hand that's weak. That's a hand you need to drive forward. That's a hand you need to drive more well. Aim four inches below the ball and just try to really drive that through that axe snap. Throw it. Look at that. Step back, enjoy that. That's going out of here by long ways. Hey, step up to the plate here. Step up to where you were. What did I just tell you? Your top hand was weak, right? Yeah. And it was weak drilling. You worked, show us what you do with your top hand drilling wise. Snapped it down. And did you do it on that last pitch? Yeah. Uh, hey, it's Marty McFly. I work with 95.5 Nash Icon in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a radio station here at Swing Makeover Camp in St. Pete, Florida. With, uh, from what Bogey said, was the top team of the entire season down here. Is that what he said? He says on the universe. Yes. universe. Absolutely. Absolutely. I say that every week. Absolutely. <laughs> the galaxy. So, so it was great with the drills, with uh, hanging out at Bogey's room after the uh, after the drills yesterday. We all uh, hung out there, took a bath together, and then it left. It was great. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, Hanging out with the guys and learning so much has been a great time. And you'll give us an all autograph afterwards, Marty? Yeah, that'll get you a Coke. If you have 50 cents, that'll get you a and Coke. And what's, what's the station letters again? It's uh, 95.5 Nash Icon. That's WSM FM in Nashville, Tennessee. 28 yes. years in radio. Uh, give, give credit to our And this, our is probably, this is probably the last one after this. <laughs> a long time, yeah, maybe. Larry Carter today, which um, was interesting, is a mid-load. I'm used to end load uh, bats. And how heavy do you swing your end loads? Actually, I actually use 27. This is a 28, yep. uh, which gave me more pop. You and bombed a long home run with yeah. it and hit a yeah. lot of high exit speed line drives. So yeah, it was great. It has a lot of pop off the bat. The sweet spot and the feel for it, it's got a nice soft feel on it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. 